Hello, this is David from Excel Consulting and in this video I'm going to show you some tricks in Excel that everyone should know when dealing with images. So let's shoot over to Excel. Um, so let me show you what the problem is. If I add some filters, and I want to filter this for example to say mammal, typically pictures get screwed up because they don't move with, this, with the cell resize or with filters or things like that. Um, it can be quite annoying but there is a way to fix that. So firstly, if you add some filters and you look at this one, if I filter to mammal here, you can see it's keeping it right. This is still the mouse, this is the dog, this is the rabbit. So what is the feature that I do to this one? Um, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is click on one image and then select all control A to select every object in your spreadsheet and object could be images, it could be icons, it could be charts, it could be shapes all of these have the same way that they work in Excel so once you have them all selected click one control A right click and choose size and properties so size and properties can allow you to fix that thing if you click on, in this one, move and size with cells, that is basically what you want to fix this issue. So let me add my filters again, and let's see if it works. Filter for mammal. You can see there that it's still showing me here mouse, rabbit, dog, so it has worked. That's pretty much it. The only thing you need to worry about is, it is move and size with cells, so if this is slightly above, and it's ending below the cell, it doesn't quite work that well. So there it works okay, but if I filter for birds, it's, yeah, you see what it's done here? It's made that one kind of up there. So make sure when you do that, that your, that your image fits exactly within the cell. Otherwise, it could give you some issues. All right, so that's one, one thing. Uh, the second thing is, um, if you have a lot of images in your Excel file, your Excel file could become really, really large. Um, the way to do that is pretty straightforward. If you click on an, a picture and you go to Format, you have Compressed Pictures here. If you click that, here's the trick. Untick the button that says Apply Only to This Picture, and then click normally use default resolution is good enough if you want to go even smaller than that you can click email but normally use default resolution is good press that and it can really shrink your file size I have another video showing this for PowerPoint which really shows how you can go from having a file of 30 megabytes to a file of 3 megabytes in about three clicks so remember the trick is just make sure you tick you untick the box that says apply only to this picture because that means it will apply to every single picture in your Excel file doesn't matter what sheet in your PowerPoint document doesn't matter what slide etc etc um, alright so now let me show you a couple of tricks that are only available for the newest version of Microsoft Office which is Office 365 um, this is available in PowerPoint Excel probably more useful in PowerPoint but still worth showing here. So as you can see, you, you have this picture that has some transparency effect on it. Um, what I can do is I can click on this. I can choose Format. Now let me choose Bring Forward, Bring to Front. That's in all versions of Microsoft Office. Um, you can also then here choose the transparency setting. And you have these preset options. It gives you a lot of transparency, very little transparency, whatever you want. Or you can just go here and actually customize the exact percentage like that, should you want to do that. So that's pretty much it. Transparency is what it says. You can read behind it, etc. Um, pretty useful for PowerPoint, and this just came out very recently. Uh, another thing that I love is icons. Now, 
The newest Excel version supports something called an SVG graphic, as does all of Microsoft Office. Um, and with that, they bring in 500 of these icons here. 500 so far, hopefully it might get even more. If you click on that, you need an internet connection to this, and it will load up all these different icons. So let me pick these two, but you have all of these different categories to choose from. So just these two, press insert, and then you get them showing here. And let me, uh, let me put these in the kind of male and female columns there, kind of like that. Now, what is so special about these icons? Um, Microsoft Office doesn't call them pictures, it calls them graphics, which means that you can actually change the color and the outline and a ton of different effects super, super easily. This is the approach I normally take, having a black outline with whatever color I want. Um, and the other, the other difference is that if you resize them, they don't get blurry like a lot of other pictures typically do. So this is, this is how it would look in the old Excel. If I make this bigger, it gets blurry, right? But the icon, which is this version, does not get blurry at all. It's very, very different there. Um, so that's uh, working with icons. You can do all sorts of things to them. You can even convert them to shapes if you want. So you can click on format, convert to shape, and then it will allow you to dig out any shape you want. So if, for example, you want the head to be a different color, you can do that, like that. There you go, and fiddle around with it however you want. So yeah, that's pretty much icons and what they do. Um, one thing that Excel unfortunately doesn't have yet, but Google does, is a way to um, return a value based on a lookup. Kind of have a, a lookup that returns an image. There are very, very roundabout ways to do this, but it's pretty difficult. Excel does not have the capability of having an image within a cell. It's always a floating object. Uh, however, Google does. Google Sheets has a formula called equals image, which allows any web URL image to render as an image in a cell, which is actually really, really useful. But I have another video again explaining that. Um, so yeah, so those are my tips. The first one, which is for everyone, is move and size with cells. That is so, so useful and so important. Um, the second one was compressed pictures. And then we had using icons and picture transparency as well. Some other things that are available in all versions for images, shapes, or whatever, is you can select multiple things, and you can go to align them, and you can align them in the center, kind of like that. You can also distribute them horizontally and distribute them vertically so they have the same amount of space between them all the time. Uh, also, if you want them to be exactly the same size, you could just type a size button in there, one and one. Now they're all exactly the same size. That again works with icons, but it also works with any other type as well. Um, so yeah, all versions, compressed pictures and properties. Office 365 only is transparency and icons. Again, notice how this is blurry and this is not. Uh, in terms of displaying data, I find icons very useful as well. So in both of these cases, we can say that most of our customers are women by either using repeating icons or relative size icons. And finally, we have um, a way to go even further with these icons, which is using these infographic charts. So this is a feature that you can do with the icons in Excel. Um, and yeah. I've built these. It's a little bit more complicated. Again, I have a video of how to do that elsewhere. And I can show you that these are actually charts linked to data. If I edit data here, 
then it allows me to change the numbers. So this 52, I'm going to go to 54%. Can you see how it's changing in there? 67%. It's changing these numbers here. So it is all linked to the data. Awesome. All right. So thanks for watching.